What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Unhinged Live. As usual, I'm your host, Patrick Hennessy. We got the Yankees post game. Finally, a post game with a win. Round of applause to that. Everyone, spam some W's in the chat. Let's go. Beautiful victory from the Yankees tonight. Love that comeback victory. Down two to five. You know what the Yankees said? They said, who cares? They came back and won. And you know who pulled it off? My man, Clint Frazier. Never doubt Clint, let's get it rolling. Love to see all the W's. Let's take attendance slash roll call. You guys know how we're going to take attendance today? We're going to take attendance with the W's. Let's go. Uh, So, who do we got with the W's? We got Jeff, Lori, Evan. I see Kian, Trey, uh, Yoelvis, Alfonso, Riley. Uh, Who else we got? We got Kyle Johnson, Riley Johnson, um, NYY, NYY. Uh, Who else we got? We got Damian, Amy, Programmer, Sean, Leanna, Swainer with an L out of nowhere for no reason. I see Micah, Ed King, Board Recon Veteran, Matt, Starkiller, John, Not So Family Fun Vision. Appreciate everybody for stopping by. Um, let me tell you guys one thing before we do start the stream, before we talk about the post game. I have actually something really fun for you guys. Um, so all of you guys know Brian Hoke, right? Just released a book, The Bronx Zoom. Pretty no, listen, guys. You know, like I'm not that good at math. I like reading though. You guys could literally get the book Unhinged 30 for 30% off. Tell me that's not a good deal. Link is in the bio. Um, If you guys want to go purchase it, Unhinged 30, you get 30% off the book. Go support Brian Hoke. Go support Triumph Books. Um, Awesome company. But um, like I said, link in bio, Unhinged 30. At checkout, save 30% off. But the Yankees pulled off a beautiful victory tonight. Let's take a look at the box score. Pull that up. Pull up those offensive numbers. You love to see it. DJ LeMahieu, two for four. My man's batting. Do I, is that a, a six? Yeah, 265 on the season. Judge went 0 for 5, though. Judge did go 0 for 5. That's fine. That's A OK. It is what it is. Uh, Glaber Torres went 0 for 4. Stan went 0 for 3. He did have two walks, though, so there's that on, on the bright side. Gary Sanchez continues to rake, though. Gary Sanchez continues raking. Shout out to Gary Sanchez. We love you, Gary. Um, maybe video coming out tomorrow about Gary. Would you guys like that? Maybe. We'll see. Um, but he had that solo shot. Um, yeah. As Damien said, can the haters put some Gary, put some respect on Sanchez's name? Do it, bro. Let's go. Um, and who are one, one for three with an RBI, uh, Gittins with his first MLB career hit, but not only was it his first career hit, his first career home run as well. Shout out to Chris Gittins. Uh, very glad to see him do that. Love him so much. Um, and yeah, Leanna did say that, that Gins was going to hit his first home run. Um, but also shout out to Micah with the $5 dono. Appreciate you. Uh, they said happy for Gins. He's waited a long time for this. You guys know, I love me some Chris Gins. Uh, but give me those Brian Fring guns. Bang, bang, bang. Let's go. Um, love to see it. You, you really love to see it. It was an absolute shot too. I'm really happy they got the ball back as well. Um, 
it was a very interesting situation. Like, whenever a fan catches a ball, I'm always like, what could they possibly, like, be negotiating? And I, like, I was trying to think to myself, like, if I caught a ball that was, like, someone's first career home run, like, what would I even ask for? I would probably just take whatever the Yankees want. Like, what do I need to do with that ball compared to, like, the kid who just hit it? You know what I mean? But um, going back to the box score, Gardner did have a solo shot. I guess shout out to Gardner. But the man of the night, I don't care what anybody says, the man of the evening was Red Thunder himself, Clint Frazier. Shout out to Clint Frazier. He got the hit that put the Yankees over the edge tonight, gave them that victory. Huge double. Huge double. Um, Shout out to Clint Frazier. All the Clint Frazier haters, where's Jesus? Where's Jesus? I need a dono that says, like, the Frazier still sucks. <laughs> um, but let's take a look at the Yankees pitching from tonight on the flip side of things. Uh, taking that off the screen. Do you guys want to see Boone really quick? Bang. Um, but looking at the pitching side of things, Jordan Montgomery wasn't too good. Um, it's as simple as that. He just wasn't too good tonight. It is what it is. Uh, he went five and a third, four earned runs, four walks. He just couldn't find the, the zone at all tonight. Uh, whatever. The bullpen really locked it down, though. Shout out to the Yankees bullpen. Um, they really seemed to kind of come down to earth tonight. Uh, Sessa got two outs. Uh, Loisica came in for a clean inning besides the two hits. Um, Britton did come in for the eighth, but he looked a little bit shaky. I'm, I know I'm not the only one who kind of, uh, thought that Britton didn't look too good. He had the bases loaded, full count, two outs to, uh, Bo Bichette. You guys, listen, I know I couldn't be the only one expecting, like, a grand slam or, like, a double in the gap there. I was fully, like, I was mentally prepared for Bo Bichette to just break the game open at that point and give the Blue Jays the win. I know I can't be the only one who thought that. There's actually no way. Um, but, also, Aroldis Chapman came in for the ninth. He looked pretty damn good. Um, I was a little bit concerned about Chapman as well, only because he, his last couple outings um, were a little bit shaky. But I think, bottom line, Chapman got the, the job done. The Yankees' bullpen got the job done. And the Yankees, in general, got the job done tonight. Huge, huge game to get the first game of the series against the Blue Jays, especially with Ryu on the mound. Pretty sure they're going up against Ross Stripling tomorrow, which, honestly, like shouldn't be that tough of, of a matchup, especially considering Garrett Cole is going to be on the mound tomorrow for the Yankees. So you definitely have to expect that they have the edge. Um, but, um, there is something I want to touch on in the chat. CC Art said, Pat, did you hear that Derek Stream got taken down because of copyright issues or something? It was crazy. Is that true? If that's true, that actually sucks. Um, I'm sure I'll hear from Derek later on tonight. If not, I'll, I'll text him and see what's up. But I mean, what's going on with like YouTube and like ruining like all these channels? Like first it was Dan's channel. I, da I don't think Dan still has his channel back. It's actually annoying. Uh, someone filed like these false copyright claims and now Derek's channel is apparently messed up because of copyright as well. That's why, honestly, I, ever since the, um, the Kluber no hitter, when I showed the clip of Kluber getting the final out, um, on there, I've just completely given up uh, on showing highlights. It's just, it's not worth it at all. But, um, Alfonso said, Pat, do you agree with keeping Britain in? Yeah, a hundred percent. Um, 1000%. Uh, I definitely only because who were you going to bring in in that situation? Wandy Peralta was the one warming up in the bullpen, so I'd much rather have Zach Britton in there over Wandy Peralta any day of the week. If anybody in the chat's going to sit here and tell me you'd prefer Wandy Peralta over Zach Britton, I'll, I have a bridge to sell you, bro. Genuinely have a bridge to sell you. But I'm just, I think we have hashtag happy Pat tonight. I'm ecstatic. And it's so crazy because like for the entirety of the game, I had such, like, a pessimistic attitude just because I was just waiting on the Blue Jays to kind of just, like, hop up and take the lead, right? That That's kind of just what we were all kind of expecting the entire game, only because that's what we've had recently. No matter how good the Yankees have been doing, we've kind of just been looking back like they always find a way to lose in the end, right? But they didn't tonight! Round of applause to that. Round of applause to that. Let's go. Um, also, I think what tonight also kind of proved is, yeah, Brett Gardner did have a solo home run, but I mean... Clint Frazier's not dead just yet. Like, I know he only had one at bat, but he had one clutch hit. I think, like, the Yankees kind of need to give the dude a second look. And if you're not going to give him a, a second look and kind of give him consistent playing time in the big leagues, send him down. Literally just send him down. I went through this so many times. If the Yankees are not confident in the dude to give him consistent at-bats at the major league level, send him down to AAA or trade him. Like, it's just getting ridiculous at this point. I don't understand what he has to do, especially against the lefty today. There's no reason Brett should have been in the lineup. There's just no way. I'm sorry. Um, but KG Baseball says, Pat, I predicted the score of the game in the pregame show. 
Shout out to you, KG Baseball. That's awesome. Um, I think I predicted the Yankees to lose. So based on that prediction, you guys you guys know. I guess it's like a reverse jinx kind of thing. I don't know. But uh, I do want to take a look at the box score, uh, the, the hitting side of things, one more time because I want to pull up one thing. Let's take note of one guy here, chat. I think you guys know where this is going. Gary friggin' Sanchez. Can someone, like, do me a favor? If you're still a Gary hater at this point, like, how can I say this nicely? Like, you're a bozo. You're the definition of a, of a hater. Put some respect on Gary Sanchez's name. This guy has honestly turned his season around a complete 180, and I don't know if this is a hot take. Chat, tell me if this is a hot take. I'm starting Gary Sanchez tomorrow to catch Garrett Cole. Personally, that's what I'm doing. You cannot sit Gary at this point. You can't do it. And at some point, if Gary keeps hitting like this for the rest of the season and ends the season with pretty good numbers, he has to catch Garrett Cole in the playoffs. So you, you're, bro, he has to do it at some point in the regular season. Have him do it tomorrow. Have him do it tomorrow. Aaron Boone, Brian Cashman, listen to me. Start Gary Sanchez a catcher tomorrow. Please. What is the worst that could happen? Yes, I'm with CCR. Spam hashtag Gary is scary. I'm with that. Because it's so frustrating at this point. How it seems like, yeah, Gary Sanchez's OPS is almost at 800. He's having a, a ridiculous season. And you can't keep sitting him every time Garrett Cole pitches. I understand Garrett Cole might be a little bit more comfortable with Kyle Gashioka. Sure, that's fair. However, he can't pitch to him every single start, especially when Gary's hitting this well, and you're not sitting Giancarlo Stanton. So Gary Sanchez needs to be in that Yankees lineup every single day, and the only way that happens is if he catches Garrett Cole. Make it friggin' happen! Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Appreciate you all. Um, but going back to the, uh, the regular screen here. This was a much-needed win for the Yankees, guys. Um, I, I think you all know this. This is... It's actually gotten to the point where we said this was possibly the biggest series of the season. Um, and I think it's just a great sign to see the Yankees kind of show heart today. I think that's the, the the key here, right? They showed heart. They were down 5-2. to two. This game looked like it was all but over um, after the Bo Bichette opposite field home run and after all the, the runs that they pieced together against Monty. I really thought the game was over. But they fought back. They clawed back. They got the job done. Let's go. Um, let's take a look at some of these comments in the chat here. Um, let's see. Yankee Fan for Life says, first we had meditation, then cheers, then reverse psychology. It's true. It, that is very true. We started off with meditation in the beginning of the year. Who remembers meditation? We used to, five. I think we did five seconds at the end of every stream. We'd close our eyes and imagine the Yankees winning the World Series. Then the Yankees started to suck. Okay, so then we started doing cheers. Every time we would like wrap up the pregame, bang, cheers. And then we're just re using reverse psychology now, I guess. I have no idea, like, what our plan is moving forward. Maybe at some point we're going to end, like, the pregames with, like, uh, wishful jumping jacks. I have no idea what the deal is with that. But uh, as Dennis said, Gary might not be in the lineup tomorrow. If Gary Sanchez is not in the Yankees lineup tomorrow, it's a huge mistake. Huge mistake. Um, but listen, it's the New York Yankees. If I had to put it on, like, a scale of 1 to 10... Um, in the likelihood that Gary Sanchez starts tomorrow, I'd probably say it's at like a three right now. There's probably no way, probably no way Gary Sanchez starts tomorrow, even though, listen, it would be such a smart idea to do so. Um, if it was me managing the Yankees, it would be a 10 out of 10, Gary Sanchez in there. But the, like the current front office slash Aaron Boone, there's no way that he's doing it, but whatever. Um, Joseph says Higgy's defense is overrated in my opinion. I agree. I think Higgy in general is kind of overrated. Um, I, I think that there's a lot of defensive miscues from Higgy where I feel like if Gary Sanchez committed them, it would just be like everyone would rip him to shreds for it. So yeah, I, I, I do kind of agree that um, Higgy's a little bit overrated. Um, Not So Family Fun Vengeance says you sound like that elementary school gym teacher. What does that mean? Like... Okay, go do the pacer test, Family Fun Vision. I'll ring the bells. You run back and forth. If you get the high score, I'll give you like a sticker or something. Um, but <laughs> 899. Well, no, that's not 899. That's Big Brain Borg. Uh, Big Brain Borg says, Pat, do you think that Cashman has talked some sense into the fan base that the front office cares? Do we think that the front office cares? 
I, I guess they do. I, I'd like to think, that, listen, if the front office doesn't care, we have a serious issue. Um, So I'm just assuming that they do. I don't think that they care as much as we do, though. If I'm being completely honest with you all, I don't think that the front office cares as much as we do. Um, and now that's not even like me just being like a narcissistic fan, be like, yeah, like we care so much more than the, than the front office does. No, like I genuinely think that it's much different when you're like employed by the organization, right? Like, I'm going to be honest with you guys. If I was like under contract by the New York Yankees, I don't know if I'd care as much just because like, I know I'm getting paid regardless. Is that a hot take? I don't know. Like if I was the GM of the Yankees, obviously I'd want them to do well. But at the, end of, at the end of the day, like, I'm still getting a pretty hefty contract. You know what I'm saying? Also, bro, same thing if I'm Giancarlo Stanton. I get, listen, another hot take maybe. But if I'm making $26 million a year and my team loses, it, it is what it is. I don't know. Uh, But <laughs> Futai says, hey, before every game, I'm going to say let's do it like the 1978 Yankees at work today. Futai, go for it. Futai, I'm, I'm all for it. I'm with Team Futai here. But uh, Kyle Johnson says, I think Cash cares, but can be misguided. Not sure about how. Sure. I agree that Cashman cares. Um, I think Cashman cares 10 times more than Hal Steinbrenner ever will. Uh, I, this is something that, that's interesting because I genuinely think Hal Steinbrenner doesn't care about the performance of the Yankees. I don't think that's a hot take either. I think that's a very firm take. Um, it's just tough to think about because you really don't want to think that the owner of your team doesn't really care about performance, but... It kind of is. And as Mike said, um, it's all about... Where'd the comment go? Nah, dude. It's all about uh, making the spreadsheet add up in the positive. That's kind of what it is for Hal. Um, It is what it is, though. I mean, Al, as Cashman kind of said, like the Yankees do have a team now that's very capable of winning games. And me and Dan talked about this yesterday. The Yankees do have a a roster construction that's very capable of winning ballgames. However, they just haven't shown it yet. Um, Hopefully, if this can turn into a hot streak now that would be an ideal situation but um i don't know i'd like to see a little bit bigger of a sample size before i get too uh enthusiastic about this team but i'm still i'm enthusiastic right now let me have my 24 hours of fun until like maybe we could have like a little pat therapy session tomorrow night but uh ed king says no you don't get to this level without caring about every game every bat sure fair enough and if I was a major league player, obviously, like, I'd probably want my team to win every single game. But I guess, like, what I kind of am trying to say from here is obviously fans are hurt a little bit more from losses than players because I kind of say this all the time. Like, if I'm a player and I just had, like, a heartbreaking loss, I'd probably just, like, open up my bank account and be like, damn, like, I'm still chilling. But, like, as fans, we get nothing out of these brutal losses. We genuinely get nothing besides heartbreak. The players get heartbreak, but they get a little bit of an incentive, too. Like, at the end of the day, you're still a Major League Baseball player. So, the the the, the end of the tunnel is a little bit more bright for them. But, uh, shout out to Jaden with the $5 dono. Appreciate you, Jaden. Uh, where's those Brian Finger guns? I refuse to say another word until Brian pops up on the screen. Bang, bang, bang. Let's go. Shout out to you, Jaden. Really appreciate it. Um, THG says, after watching a brutal hockey game, I need some much needed positivity. Let's be honest though, like, where else are you getting more positivity than on Hinge Yankee stream? Like, the Yankees could have lost tonight 10 0, and I probably would have still been positive. Hashtag positive Pat in the chat. You guys know that. We're positive every night of the week, no matter what. Um, but let's see let's see what else we got in the chat. Uh Spade says, if we rake off Kyle Gibson, why get him? Did the Yankees rake off Kyle Gibson? I don't even remember facing him when we were in uh when we went to Texas. Are you sure that we uh we raked off Kyle Gibson? Pulling up his game logs right now, so I'm gonna fact check you real quick. Uh no, the Yankees did not face Kyle Gibson. So what are we talking about? What are we talking about? Uh but Parker says this is a nice change of pace. It is. This is a very nice change of pace. Uh, we actually get to be a little bit pumped about something. Besides, like, usually what we get pumped up about is, like, what do we usually get pumped up about, chat? Like, figuring out a math problem, because I'm so bad at math. But, like, also, I get pumped out about books, too. Like, all right, no, but seriously, if anybody thinks that, like, math is better than, like, reading, no. That's just not it. That's a really bad opinion. Um, but hashtag positive pat. I see a bunch of hashtag positive pats. Let's go. Um, hashtag math pod, no. That's, no. Get out of here with that. Please, no. Um, 
Michael says, everyone loved George Steinbrenner. You're crazy to say Hal is better than his father. Hal is a disgrace to the Yankees. Who who said Hal is better than George? I literally never said that. Unless you're kind of like talking to somebody else in the chat. That's not me. Um, I never sell, said Hal is better than George. Um, but let's see what else we got in the chat. Um THG says math is better than most fiction books. It's not even close. Okay, not a fan of fiction books. I'll tell you that much. I'm not a fan of fiction books. Bang. I'm kind of with you there, Johnny. But if it's simple math, math can be rewarding at the end of the day. But back to the Yankees here. Um, <laughs> how do we always get off topic? It's not even the off season. Like in the off season, who remembers the off season streams? We would literally talk about the Yankees for like a good like 20 minutes. And then bang, we're on like a 30 minute discussion about Chick-fil-A. But I miss those streams kind of. I kind of do. Um, CCR, it says, Pat, have you read Bronx Zoom? Um, are you kind of like setting me up to plug the book again? Because I can. Like, shout out to the Bronx Zoom. Um, you could purchase it in the link in bio on Hinge 30 for 30% off. I actually have. I'm like, how many pages am I in? I'm like 30 pages in about. Pretty solid book. And I usually don't like too many books unless they're like true stories like this one. I just wish it, it sucks a little bit that I kind of know how the book is going to go. You know what I mean? It's a little bit disappointing that I know the book's kind of going to end with uh, a Mike Bro so shot. It is what it is. Um, Yankee Fan for Life says, Pat, is this a sponsor? Yeah, Unhinged 30 for 30% off. Go purchase it. Um, Garrett Cobb says, more like the Yankees we know. Uh, starter gives up early runs, then offense hits the bullpen is solid. Uh, offense is their game. That's exactly it. And that's exactly what's been hurting the Yankees for so long lately. The starter gives up a lot of runs in the beginning of the game, but then they never seem to piece things together together after that. Um, but it, it's just brutal because now how long is this going to last for? Is this like the same case as the Minnesota series where the Yankees kind of look good for two games and then completely revert back to their old ways? I'd like to see this over a 10-game span. I'm not saying go 10-0, and 0, but I think over these next 10 games, the Yankees genuinely have to go 8-2. and two. Eight and two would probably be the way to go for that. Um, but Jesus Travis says, where do we buy the book at? Um, link in bio, link in the description. If you guys head to the description, it should be the first link there. Um, it's on Triumph Books. And then at checkout, you enter uh, code unhinged30 for 30% off. Also, if you guys do purchase the book with uh, code unhinged30, shoot me a uh, shoot me like a message on any of our social medias, either Instagram, uh, Twitter, Facebook, or, or even email. You can email it. Send me like a screenshot of your order confirmation, and I'll hook you guys up with a uh, a discount code for uh, one of the unhinged merchandise shirts. So yeah, definitely do that. Um, I don't know how how much discount I'll probably probably like thirty percent off a shirt. Yeah, that 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 will probably make sense. But uh, Michael says, yeah, this is what I was talking about, Pat. We always look like we're gonna go on a big run, then we fall apart. Need a ten game winning streak, by the way, Pat, for the Yankees to make the playoffs. Fifty and thirty. Well, if the Yankees go fifty and thirty, uh, the rest of the way. I think, what's their record? How do we always end up doing math, bro? All right, so right now, 50 and 30. 50 and 30 would not. Wait, how many games are left in the season? There's like 100 games left. I don't know. Ch Chat, someone someone do the math for me because I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> CC Yard says, wait, is the book an ebook or does it deliver to you? Um, it's a hardcover. It's a hardcover book, j just like this one. Same exact one. Knock, knock, knock. Um, but hashtag not a math bot. This is surely not a math bot. Um, let's see what else we got. Yankee Fan for Life says, I tried to comment on your pregame video. It wouldn't let me. Well, that's strange. It definitely should have. Uh, Martin said, uh, bro, if Yankees sit Gary tomorrow, I'm going to be sick. He deserves to catch Cole. Let's go, Gary. I always believe in him. Yo, Gary, haters, where are you at? That's what I'm saying. Also, where are the Clint haters at? I see no Clint haters tonight. I see no Gary haters tonight. The Gary haters have actually been in, in hiding for quite a while now. Um, I don't know where they're at. It is what it is. I don't know. But uh, let's see. Uh, TG says the book costs like $19 with a discount code. That's actually pretty fire. Um, that's actually a really good deal. So $19 with a discount code. Go for it. Also, like I said before, if you guys do it and use the code, um, shoot me a message on any of our social medias. And I'll hook you up with a discount code for uh, unhingedclothing.shop. But Jesus says, I'm here. Clint sucks. 
Jesus, Clint just won them the game tonight, bro. Damn. Give him a break. Uh, Parker said, despite not saying the things we wanted to hear, I thought the Cash interview was pretty good. Uh, it seemed like Cash was actually aware of what was going on for once. Kind of. Yeah, no, he, he did. Um, I didn't watch the entire interview. I probably should at some point tonight. But uh, it looked like it was a decent interview. It was nothing too crazy. Um, you know what I was just thinking, chat? Also, instead of like, if you guys don't want to message me on one of the social media platforms, you could do it on uh, on Discord if you guys don't already, uh, if you guys aren't already part of the Discord. Uh, I'll pop the link in the chat. Um, in case you guys want to hop on there, but, uh, also one more thing about today's game. Well, not one more thing. We have a few more things to talk about, but, um, honestly, I, did we talk about Jordan Montgomery a lot tonight? Because I feel like we didn't, um, how much more faith are we going to have in Monty? I know like the advanced metrics are kind of like showing he's having a much better season than we kind of have seen, uh, lately, but I'm just like, so not confident in him in him every time he hits the mound i don't know if that's just me are you guys confident in jordan montgomery yes or no i need a yes or a no in the chat someone please let me know because i'm just i'm a little bit puzzled as to like how to feel about him every time he hits the mound like yeah as laurie said monty's no andy pettit it's i don't know brendan says yes jarell says no jonathan hell no no yes it looks like we're split like kind of 50 50 here I don't know. Monty's inconsistent. Yeah, it's like 50-50. I don't know how to feel about him. And it seems like it might be like a James Paxson situation. Because I would love to see, like, Monty's numbers in the first inning so far this season and then his numbers after the first inning concludes. Because it seems like he's a slow starter. No pun intended starter. You guys know what I mean. But I feel like once he starts off the game, he's not too good. And then he kind of, like, gets his, his groove going later on. But I want to see if I can pull up the numbers to see, like, what the uh, the numbers are for early in the game for him. So, if I could see this here. Baseball reference has so many stats, but they don't have this, bro. You, they literally have the umpire, but they don't have the inning. Am I losing my mind? Oh, no, I see it. All right. No, okay, I'm right. Chad, I'm right. In the first inning so far this season... Monty has a 6 ERA, and then in the second inning, a 2.25. Tell me not. Tell me not that's fire. I know what I'm talking about. Sometimes, most of the time. But a 6 ERA in, in, in inning number one so far this season. And then in, in, in inning... Eh, got something in my eye. That's messed up. That's not fun. Um, then inning, in inning number two, he has a 2.25 ERA. So he definitely um, struggles more to start the, the game off. Maybe you use an opener and the Monty starts. Just saying. I'm experimenting here. Leave me alone. Um, let's see what else we got in the chat. Um, Jonathan says, I don't get how Cashman can call Reggie Willits one of the best first base coaches. Um, when our base running is atrocious, uh, that is mind-boggling, not even close to being based on any fact whatsoever. That's kind of what I'm saying. Um, I found it a little bit interesting today how Cashman could go out there and say that uh, Aaron Boone's a great manager. Um, it's it's troubling to me to say that just because Aaron Boone's been the Yankees manager since 2018. And what has he kind of proved since then uh, to call himself a great manager? The only way I'm calling a guy a great manager is if he leads a team to a World Series. Right now, you just can't call Aaron Boone a great manager. He's done nothing. He's literally done nothing. Uh, but Michael Caputo says, Pat, by the way, uh, the 50 and 30 run would give the Yankees a record of 91 and 69. I don't think that wins them the division, to be honest with you. However, um, that might get them a wild card spot. It, it wouldn't be a guaranteed wild card spot, but it would definitely give them uh, a good chance for it. Um, but, Pat, can you read my comment about Gary Sanchez? Uh, Bright says, Gary Sanchez Theory, Para, who I still have no idea what happened to him. Para's gonna be on the recorded video tomorrow. Don't worry about Para. 12 p.m. tomorrow, it will be up. Um, disguised himself as Gary Sanchez and injected DD juice into himself so that he can rake for Sanchez starting two weeks ago. I'm not gonna confirm nor deny that theory. Thank you. Um, but, <laughs> Sirdar says, remember when both Pat and Derek begged the Yankees to sign Taiwan Walker? Bro, I wish they would have signed Taiwan Walker. I wish the Yankees would have signed Taiwan Walker. Do you guys know he's actually dominating so far this season? He would have been a, a much better option than uh, Jameson Tyone. If I could pull up Taiwan Walker's numbers here, 
If I'm not mistaken, he's having one of the best seasons in the National League. Yeah, he's 5-2 and two with a 2.07 ERA. He'd, he'd be the Yankees' ace right now. Um, it is what it is, I guess. Um, but listen, chat. Uh, with that being said, that is going to wrap things up for today's postgame. Um, I really do appreciate everybody for stopping by. Once again, a bunch of links in the description. If you guys want to purchase the Bronx Zoom, uh, the link is in the in the description. Unhinged 30, 30% off. Uh, the Discord link is in there. News break, uh, Discord, you guys know the deal by now. Great win tonight by the Yankees. Beautiful ass win by the Yankees. You love to see it. Um, tomorrow, got some content going up tomorrow. You guys know that. 12 p.m. recorded video will be going up. And then 6 p.m., stay tuned on, on the channel for the pregame. Appreciate you all for stopping by. You guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications for more. I will see you tomorrow, 6 p.m. for the pregame. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe. Let's go, Yankees. Peace.